Systems, check. Dart ammo, check. Tire pressure, check. Bentley, how many equipment checks are you going to do? Just being prepared, Sly. A field operative can never be too careful. Or watch too many spy movies, apparently. They're good reference. Those ice caves are a textbook example of a villain's hidden operation. Relax, pal. It's simple. Use the thermovision to find Grizz, tag him with the homing dart, and let him lead us to his lair. Avoiding any lethal obstacles or bloodthirsty guards along the way, of course. Right. Simple. I'll see you back at the hideout. Let's <laughs> go. 
way, pal. Thermovision to follow his footprint. Yeah. Yeah. If Grizz came this way, the Thermovision should detect his footprints. You're gonna have to track him, Bentley. I'm like Da Vinci, master with a brush. When my art is on the wall, it makes the crowd hush. There he is. Tag him, Bentley. Hold on, Sly. There's something funny about that painting. What happened, Bentley? He was right there. I'm sorry, Sly. It's just this artwork. Maybe I should try viewing this in a new light. And these paintings have a few things in common. Great! Way to go, pal. Outstanding. Now, go find that bear. Hmm, this must be how Grizz moves the eggs back to his mountain base. Whoa, that's a huge egg. But I need to get out of the way. I can use those gaps in the walls to avoid the egg. This is like some kind of bad dream. We are on high alert. Nobody goes in or out but the Grizz. I gotta go finish your paint, you dig? Good. Now take these and keep your eyes Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like that door is missing something. Yeah, a makeover. No, Sly. I'm sure the gems Grizz gave the guards unlocked the door. I'll just have to get them the old-fashioned way. By asking politely? Funny. No, by picking some pockets. I can't tell which guards have them, though. Hmm. There's another way. How about using thermovision? I think you're right. Wow, this is a first. Okay. Now? Fine. I better use the thermovision to see which guards have the jets.
on that Man, door. You are really tickling my ivory. Huh? Huh? You won't shake this tail, Briz. Uh, did you just say something about shaking your tail? Fly and sly, I've got a bear to catch. No way I'm going out as egg salad! I'll never eat an omelet again! Hey, don't forget, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I'd much rather sleep in late. Bentley, what do you say we just skip breakfast? Right I lost this act late. Some art on ice. Gonna dig it up later for a big fat price. The paradox is a stinky dude, and I'm getting real sick of his attitude. It looks like Grizz is planting fake cave paintings. He's working a prehistoric art scam. I get it. He paints them here, then goes back to the present, digs them up, and sells them for a fortune. What a con! Hurry up and tag him before he gets away again. Right. Just to be safe, I'm going to use multiple darts. Three should do the trick. Belly, you need to make sure those darts stick to him. Aim for that rip in his pants. Time to put the dart gun to good use. Great <laughs> shot, Bentley. Jigga -jigga -jigga. I can't shoot through all this ice. You need to move. I think this job is going to require three darts just to be on the safe side. Bullseye! Just one more. 
open machine! Just keep moving, Bentley. Ah. You don't have much time. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, I shot the guy thrice. Sorry, the rhyming is contagious. One of these days he's gonna get served. Yeah, the Grizz is gonna crush that little nerd. Okay, Sly, this one's pretty simple. Tail Grizz until you can get the code to his fortress. We need to get in there if we're going to stop him. You shouldn't have any trouble finding him since he's tagged with the homing darts. Just follow the signal. We probably didn't even need the darts. He's kind of hard to miss. Okay, he's on the move, Sly. Stay close so I can pull the data we need off his phone. And don't underestimate him. He's no lightweight. <laughs> It ain't your biz, my name is the Grizz. You see, I'm hairy and scary and all of that stuff. Get the heck out of my way, or I'm gonna get rough. What? <clears throat> gonna make me a fortune, I'm the greatest around. All I gotta do is plant my art in the ground. Trying to run some kind of game on the Grizz? I'm tired of you telling me to walk the line straight when you walking it all crooked. Yeah, that's right. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. That ain't the deal we had. Nuh-uh, no. I got you the cane that that big old hairy dude made. Now you need to hook me up. Hook me up, yeah. Ho hold on, hold on, I'm losing signal. Hold on, I said I'm losing signal. I said, I hold on. I can't, hold on. You catch that, Bentley? Yeah, sounds like he's talking to La Paradox, and there's trouble. Don't lose him. You got the Grizz? Live in large with a brush. Don't step on my canvas, cause you'll just get crushed. some reception. I gotta find some... Hold on. Man. No. Oh, hold on. Bentley, why don't we have a phone like that to talk to Dimitri? You really want Dimitri calling you? Good point. Forget I asked.
sorry, what's that? Oh, come on now. I scratched your stinky, stripy little back. Now you scratch mine. Not only that, I got those other crazy Koopa folks messing with my business now. So I gotta deal with that, and I don't see you giving me any help. No help. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Huh? Oh, oh hold on. It's a reception, man. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me, I can't hear you. You chop it. You chop it. You chop it. I, forget it, man. I, I, Sounds like his deal with my paradox isn't going so well. Oh, poor guy. I feel so sorry for him. Yeah, I'm crying over here. Just stay close. I'm still trying to access his phone data. I'm flowing so bad it ain't fair. The Grizz will teach me a paradox. Don't mess with the bear. <laughs> Don't give me that. We had a deal since day one, and I did my part. I did my part. I. I need those eggs, and I need them yesterday. Don't leave me hanging, because I will come find you. Oh, oh, you think I'm scared of you? The only thing scary about you is the smell. Yeah, hello? Hello? Stupid phone. I'm finding this all pretty entertaining. Yeah, it gives us an advantage if Grizz is off his game. you how it is. I am an artist. I got paintings to create. And I ain't putting up with any more of your excuses. Now, you get me the eggs I need for my paint, or I climb through this phone and squeeze them out of you myself. You got that player. Hello? Hello? Why you did that? Damn! I guess that means you didn't get the code? It does. Looks like we're back to square one. I guess the bear got away, huh? Carmelita, it's good to see you. Uh-huh. I'm only talking to you because I have some information for Bentley. I've been telling Grizz on my own, and I have the security codes and full schematics for his mountain base. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. So you'll get it to Bentley for me? Of course. I'm headed back to the hideout now. But wouldn't you rather hand it to him yourself? Maybe I should. After all, you're not exactly trustworthy, are you? Ouch. So, we're good, right? Don't push your luck, Ringtail. I caught up with the ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face. 
but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think, and I'd realized some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that, too. In the past, I'd always chased Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly. And that we have a common enemy in the Paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars!
All right, the time has come to deal with Grizz. This guy is a menace to the time continuum, not to mention the arts. And it's time to shut him and his counterfeit cave painting production down. It appears he's already beefed up security, so he's probably expecting us. But thanks to Carmelita, we have complete schematics of his mountain base. So once we get inside, I'll be able to target the egg vats and make sure they're scrambled. Just a little egg humor. <laughs> Next, Bob, you'll need to climb the main generator tower and pry the pressure valves open to completely disrupt power. That should start a fatal chain reaction in the system. Murray, at this point, you'll have to get to the master control panel and make sure no one can reset the system before the damage is done. Of course, you'll need to use your pugilistic skills on any guards that might get in your way. After this, the system will be completely disabled and we can do a little bear hunting. Sly, it'll be your job to take down Grizz when we find him. Well, that's the plan. You should all be clear on what needs to be done, so let's get out there and put this bear on ice. Okay, this is our ticket inside. Carmelita, you'll be riding with Murray. Sly, you're with Bob and myself. Carmelita, are you sure you'll be all right? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I wouldn't want you to catch cold or something, sitting in that other car. Don't worry, Ringtail. I have my shock pistol to keep me warm. I stop. I need to destroy those egg vats and then make my way to the rendezvous point. Keep your communication channel open. I'll see you all later. Okay, Bentley. Just watch your step. Always, Sly. Always. Disable that 
make that, this maintenance bridge will rise. Looks like those vats are wind powered. I need to knock out those blades to shut it down. Excellent! That's one vat down. Great! I just need to make it to that ledge! I just can't let these ballots turn me into a turtle pancake! Time for some more explosive darts! <laughs> There's the tower, Bob. You'll need to find the valve covers and pry them loose to disrupt the power output. Yes, it is a dangerous climb, but if anyone can do it, you can. Right. See you at the top. Good luck.
Harry, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'll find you guys after I figure out how to get off this crazy thing. Right, we've got another problem. Okay. We needed Murray to cover that control panel, but he's gone. If that guard resets the system, not only will this mission be a failure, but we'll be sitting ducks. We don't have a lot of time here, Sly. Use your pounce to reach that platform and take out the guard. Sloppy, though, don't you think? Hey, that was almost a compliment. I'll take it. Way to hustle, Sly! Thanks. Now let's go find Murray. Man! I knew I should have made that left turn! <laughs> it's gonna be nice, like sugar and spice, when I put that Cooper gang on ice. Riz? No way I'm letting this chump get away! Bombs away! The Murray's got a beef with you, punk! Murray, we have to help him! Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare. Trust me, pal. You ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you Cooper chumps. The paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's right. Uh, okay? No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassles, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, you Cooper punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dreams? Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the strip back, man, because the Grizz is about to show you how to skate time. Oh, man, this won't take but a minute. Let's see if you can match these moves, sucker! <laughs> 
copy the grid. <laughs> Murray. You were great! That performance was definitely a 10, pal. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team. 
and we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. Today, you were the hero, Murray, and don't you forget it. Aw, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? An apple, even? Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet, and I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves, something that went against everything she stood for. I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off, whatever that meant. He pointed us to our next destination, medieval England, and as it turned out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us.